This time on any given day, getting across town can be quite a grind. One proposal to ease the congestion is a major regional commuter rail line linking San Antonio and Georgetown. Supporters of the Lone Star Rail District say they'll do whatever they can to keep on track. But as KXAN's Ignacio Garcia reports, city leaders in Georgetown say the money could be spent better elsewhere. Neglecting to provide our future generations with mass transit options, that's just the wrong path to take. Georgetown Council Member Rachel John Rowe is passionate about getting commuter rail into her city, especially with 600,000 residents expecting to move into the county by 2030. Uh, projection estimates are accurate. The need for mass transit options is only be going to become greater as time goes on. But recently, a majority of the council members decided to write a resolution to cancel their membership in the Lone Star Rail District, citing it's too expensive and not enough people would ride it. The move would keep Georgetown town out of the loop in any future Central Texas commuter rail plans. But some locals say that they're afraid that the decisions made today could have a long-lasting negative impact on Georgetown. Arden Trevino, a 15-year resident, wants rail. We could have people from San Antonio, from Austin, from Buda, from anywhere coming into Georgetown and then coming to downtown Georgetown, seeing shows, having dinner, staying the night. Residents in the Windrich neighborhood say they've been wanting commuter rail or any other mass transportation in their city for years. The neighbors want mass transit. They want buses. They want uh, trains. They, we have people that go to Austin, uh, Bruce and Bob, they are, they are in a carpool every day. They would love to hop on a train. We contacted the city offices to get comment from councilmen that want out of the Lone Star Rail District. So far, we haven't heard back. Meantime, supporters plan to be loud and clear about keeping their town on track for commuter rail at the next council meeting. In Georgetown, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. Without a regional commuter rail line, there are a few options for public transportation across the immediate area. Going in depth now, the Capital Area Rural Transportation System, or CARTS, has several inner city coach routes. Those include trips between Georgetown and San Marcos, Taylor to Georgetown or Marble Falls, and Burnett into Austin. Still, leaders in Central Texas are taking a broader look at regional transportation. They launched this website, connectcentraltexas.com. It has detailed maps showing proposed rail lines, express bus routes, and other public transit options.